Okay, okay. Yeah. so uh, I think part of the reason why these innocent people are getting hurt is because of rhetoric like yours, to be honest. We need to be able to work with as many people as possible. What you're saying is fundamentally we, anti-democratic. We, 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 we uh, tried. No, we, it, it, well, we like, really we, in the places I mean, that we've tried, it's actually been a little successful. Like, there has been integration of LGBT people into the, the, like, general society. We have integrated these. The idea that we haven't done, like, anything, and we're, they're... Gay people and trans people are just as prosecuted today as they were 40 years ago is laughable. It is absolutely laughable. I'm not saying right? That. This is okay. So, no, so then what you're matter, saying is it? it has worked. Then you agree. We've tried it. It's worked. So what we're what uh, my argument for, and it sounds like what Connor is trying to get at, is that we can still do this. We can still make things work. We're failing in some areas, and we gotta you know work with each other. That is. It, the only way democratically. What you're talking about, Eli, is fundamentally anti-democratic. You're saying, hey, listen, I like the way that I don't like the way you guys vote. I don't like the way you guys move and shit like this. So get the fuck out or just deal with the changes that we're going to make. We have to row in the same direction. We have to make convincing arguments. We have to present I, I all of the like, shit that I we have to like, be able to I work together like, as a democracy. We are a group. We are a unit of people. That. We got to we gotta make it work. Then people, but then you have people who don't want to, you, you have people who don't want to uh, participate in the democratic process. You have people who, despite all of our efforts to reach across the aisle, who still smack our hands and who still say, no, and who still say that like we're moving too far left by teaching actual American history in schools and whatnot. Like you still have that. So mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry. It's like all of this incremental shit. Like I mean, it works in some areas, and then and then it also seems as though you know people like Ron DeSantis and others are just continuing to gain power regardless of what we fucking do. So at this point, it's like you know what? If you're if you're pissed about gay or trans people. I mean, I'm sorry. This is the the, the, the Ron DeSantis was universal like 40 years ago. The the ideas that you're saying, like pointing to Ron DeSantis, one person, right? There's many people who hold their opinion, but one person. The reason why you're pointing to one person is because they're one person right now. 40 years ago, it was everyone. It was fucking everyone had that opinion, you know and then we I mean? made convincing arguments, and then we worked right. together, and that's the only made, way. It's not that we just made convincing arguments, and we it's protested, that. and we did we all this protested. stuff. We, we yes, we yes. We protested, and then not only did we protest, but we also said, all right, look, like, we understand that, like, certain people don't like the fact, don't like gay people, but guess what? We're just gonna, we're just, we're just gonna codify, or we're gonna go ahead and legalize gay marriage anyway, because it's Wrong. just, it's the thing, what? It's the did thing, it, we... hold on, it's the thing that we need to do. There's a bunch of people to this day, who, a bunch of conservatives to this day, far writers who still believe that we should repeal um, uh, uh, laws that allow for gay people to get married because they think that that's just that's just an abomination or because they just don't like to think of the fact that like. So you think the correlation with the exception of the with the accepting gay people and homosexuality as? Let me just let me just let me just lay out. Let me just lay it out for you. Okay, listen. Well, can I, I ask this think, question? I just don't think. I just don't think. Be, based off of what I have seen, it's like yeah, you can say okay. Make a convincing argument. I just don't buy the idea that there is a that there is an argument that's going to convince everybody, or there is an argument that there is going that, or that there is an that. argument. That, but but I, I think we're at that point now. When we when I look at it and I argue with people online or I argue with people face to face and whatnot, and not even a lot of that because really, in a, in, when you actually get offline and you walk okay. it out, the real I'm, I'm going to be a bit rude. It feels like probably the reason why you're not convincing a lot of people in arguments face to face is to be honest, I don't think you're good at making them. That's no, my no, opinion. No, that's okay, not what I said. but I, wait, okay, wait, well, wait, 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 maybe you hang around with people that aren't good at making I either. But that's that's why I don't ever I don't even ever like get into these arguments with people because a lot of people it's not even. Normal people, when they're walking and going to and from uh, throughout their day and whatnot, they're not really having these sort of conversations that we're having, like, uh, 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 what online and whatnot. Yeah, like, just, I just yep. think that at this point, what is left, the people, the right-wingers that are left in that barrel of people that, uh, that, that, are, that are just, that are super reactionary and whatever and what have you, just let them be there. There, no, I feel like no, at this point, no. I feel like at this no, point, we're gonna let we're gonna ignorance. let Connor. I feel like oh, at no. this point, it's a willful ignorance and a willful just rejection of a new of new ideas, new thoughts, new uh, like uh, 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 the ability to think of something or different than what you already know. It's self centered, all that type of stuff, and I'm just done with it. It's like you know what, fine. 
Believe what okay. you want. You're wrong, but believe what you want and whatnot. We got the numbers. I'm going to go help people get registered to vote and whatnot and, and explain to them, like, you know, about, like, the fair housing that's on the ballot and shit like that rather than, you know, neogenesis. I just don't think anybody really cares about that. At the end of the day, what somebody actually cares about is, like, okay, what are you going to do about my taxes? What are you going to do about, you know, infrastructure? What are you going to do about, um, uh, uh, um, um, what, what's, what's another one? Um, Help me out Whatever. here, y'all. Like, right, affordability? You know, that's really what a lot of people care about, especially conservatives. Taxes and infrastructure. Well, maybe not even. All right, let's, let's let Connor go. Huts. Okay, so I have to rebut that point immediately. No, people don't give a fuck about taxes and infrastructure, okay? They, they care about the culture war. They care about blood and guts. They care about trans people in sports. They care about this, that, the other. The reason yeah, why... Hold on, hold on. You talk that. for like five minutes. Just let me go. Just let me go. Let me just go. Let me go. Let's let, let's let Connor finish. So, the reason why people care about that shit is because if you talk about tax rates for more than 10 minutes, I'm going to lose 90% of my fucking chat. They're going to disappear into the fucking they're ether because they're going to be bored. Like you, no, you think... You think that the voting public is any fucking different? My brother in Christ slash Muhammad, the voting public is more retarded than my fucking chat. So you start talking about tax rates and fucking infrastructure, they're going to fucking evaporate like the fucking, you know, they're going to evaporate like fucking water. So anyways, you said that people get hurt every day because of the tolerances of liberalism, because of the incremental bullshit that we're fucking implementing. I can tell you, as somebody who is almost fucking 40, that... This is the opinion of somebody who is under the age of 30 exclusively. It is infinitely better to be black. It is infinitely better to be gay. It is infinitely better to be trans nowadays than it was even 20 years ago. 20 years okay, ago, like, there's a joke. Hold on, hold on, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Take notes. Take notes. I'm not done. I mean, it's nothing I have I'm not done. Take notes. I'm not done. Take notes. Open up a, a sticky notepad. Write down your thoughts and tell me what you think in a second. Okay, I'm gonna finish what I'm saying. So anyways, literally 20 years ago, there was that fucking ad that's now used as a joke meme where you have half a dozen fucking teenagers screaming the fucking F slur because guess what? In 2003, 2004, it was pretty fucking normal to use the word, you know, F, F slur. I won't say it now because some of us are on Twitch, but it was pretty common to just use that in common parlance. That was just everybody's fucking language all the time. You do something, you simp for a girl, you fuck up at school, you do something cringe, somebody is calling you the fucking F slur. So to, to pretend that like we're, we're just like, you know, nothing's changed over the past 20 years is fucking wild. And here's another thing. Freedom, freedom, freedom in a fucking free society is the freedom to do good things and it is the freedom to do bad things. So when you say... Yes, fuck you. My worldview is correct. Your worldview is cringe. And I'm going to indoctrinate your children with my worldview because it's correct. You are being authoritarian. You might not see it that way, but that's exactly what you're fucking doing. Hold up. I'm almost done. 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 The final point is that gay marriage was not passed by the legislature. There wasn't a majority of Americans who said, fuck you, we're going to pass gay marriage because fuck all the conservatives. What happened was that it was a fiat. Yeah, that was a fiat by the Supreme Court, which is why it potentially could be repealed. So wouldn't it be better to appeal to the liberal and libertarian sensibilities of the vast majority of Americans to say those gay people aren't fucking harassing you. So let them be married as adults and we'll pass that legislation instead of saying, fuck you. We're going to tell your kids that they can be gay and trans and you can eat a dick. Wait, right. hold on. That's what we've already said to people. We've already said that shit Wait, to people. Keep saying it. You live in a liberal democracy, motherfucker. Just keep saying it till you're blue in the face. But, All right, let, let's let uh, Eli Monta go. Wait, yeah, yeah. Well, hold on. I'm just saying, like, I mean, we already did say that to those, to those people. And the people that understood it and the people that were like, you know what? It's really kind of stupid that I'm worrying about this and I'm upsetting over it. These gay people, they're, they're not anything for me to, like, worry about or, or anything like that. And then they just, they got on board. And that's that's great. That's fine. It's great. And now the rest of the dregs of society that are still like, I think they're coming from my kids, even though they're do, not. I mean, honestly, they can go fuck themselves. Do you I, know I what's counterproductive to this messaging? I don't care. Do you know what's counterproductive to this messaging? Is having the Los, Angeles, the Los Angeles gay men's choir singing a song saying, we're coming for your kids repeatedly. 
it's okay, people so at progressive all, protests. You know Hold up. You know it's what? people at progressive That's, protests glad, saying we're coming for your kids. Yeah, sure. I'm go ahead. Let let stop, please tell me why that was a good idea. I'm glad you brought that up. So here's the thing. I don't give a shit. And the reason okay. why I don't give a shit is because, A, I don't know the full context of that. I'm also, B, not going to look into the full context of it because, again, I don't give a shit. I know that they were probably doing – you could say, like, oh, it's bad optics. I, I don't care. Sweet. Um, I, I don't also, give a shit when Republicans and conservatives on. pick your hold dick on. in electorally since you don't give a shit. Hold, yeah, I don't, on, I don't give on. a shit either. Hold, hold on. Well, you should for a mul multitude of other reasons. Ooh, they also I don't. Fuck you. You're, you're fucking like, making your own bed. I'll let you yeah, sleep in it. I'm white and straight. They're, they're, I'm going to be also, fine. They're also, they're also kicking in your dick with a lot of the No, they're not. They I'm straight, yeah. white, and Christian, and I'm middle class. If they cut taxes, right. I'm fine. God, if, they, <laughs> if they implement a Christian theocracy. Hold on, hold on. They don't give a if they about you either. Yeah, you're right. Also, a hold lot on. of the things that, no. they, that they pass are just, because you're also a worker. And a lot of the things no. that they pass are anti are anti worker. So Elon, um, I, mean, I, yeah, I sure, want to I want to make a point. Probably, I wanna, right? Yeah, right? I want to make I want to make a point. So I am straight. Hold on. Paycheck you, in order to survive. Hold, hold on. Hold on. I want I want to make a real point. I am straight. I am white. Yeah. I am yeah. married. I am monogamous. I am okay. culturally Christian. I am okay. relatively speaking middle class. I am a property a lot owner. Of boring basic things. Yeah. You're yeah, right. Boring basic things. You're right. And you know who's not going to get fucked over in the DeSantis Christian theocratic fucking empire? Me. So I'm not no, making you, these you, arguments you, for you, me. You, I'm you making these arguments for ways. you. Uh, no, I don't need you to be a white savior for me. I can I can defend for myself. I mean, you're I don't still think being so. over. You're, you're still being fucked over in many other in many other ways because if you don't think this, Ron DeSantis isn't going to hike up taxes on you as well and cut them for the because he's a conservative, again, they cut taxes. What are you talking about? No, no, they cut taxes for the top one percent and then raise them for everybody else. They don't they don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about the fact that you're a white male. They just use that. They just use that to further divide the working class. And the, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, they fuck us all over. If they're not fucking you over that way. They're making sure that your kid doesn't actually learn the real American history because Ron DeSantis wants to do that. He wants to ensure that everybody gets the the whitewash education of history, which is going to fuck your kids over because, again, they're not learning they're white about too. history. And and about huh? They're white too. You could tell them. Yeah. Hold on. I want I want to make a joke. Yeah, I want to make a joke here, but I want to make a serious joke. I want to make a serious point white here. People, uh -huh. White people, Mister White Man, need to learn that shit too. Why? Why can't they just learn that white people are the saviors of the fucking planet and Europeans saved because the Jews during not, World War II? Uh, and also, also all of the bra all that's of the brave true. soldiers that's during the Civil War fought that's to that's save racist. all the blacks, and the blacks are too racist. stupid to appreciate it. It is history. Uh -huh. For other marginalized groups is what it is what it does. But Why also, would they give a fuck? They're way, at the top of the intersectional pile. In a way, in a way, it also it also robs them of like helpful like, like knowledge of like how in of how like racism and talks about racism are uh -huh. really just used again to divide the working class based off of frivolous shit like race, sex, gender, all of that stuff. They need to learn that as white people too, so that we can come together as a collective and as you know, working class people to overthrow the rich ruling elites that oversee our that that that, that organize um, surplus labor and whatnot, uh -huh. and so the, 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 the no organize way. surplus in a way that we don't have access to it and separate us from our labor and the things that we, the, the, the surplus that we produce, that we should have a say over as to like what happens with and that. the way to okay, do that I, is not by ignoring them. Okay, and, and here, uh, here's the I, thing. I feel like um, we've got the numbers at this um, point. We, we, I am we half really choking. We just gotta worry about like mobilizing and get an activism, getting people out there to like uh, uh, talk about the shit that actually matters. I'm not gonna get out there and I'm not gonna talk to one of my clients about neogenders or neo pronouns. They're they're not gonna. They probably don't even. They, if I were to tell them I'm non-binary, I know that they probably wouldn't even. Majority of them, they're not gonna be able to contemplate what that is. Instead, I'm gonna say, hey, um, we got we. I, I'm I'm coordinating this event to get everybody registered to vote. Um, because this is what's on the ballot about like affordable housing. This could help potentially lower your rent payment every month. That's the shit that's going to speak to people and that people are actually going to care about. And when you talk to them about that shit, they're going to forget about the trans people coming for their kids because that's a non-factor compared to ensuring that like our children have a better future and that people can eat 
and okay. that people can actually live and afford to buy houses I am, and stuff like that. Okay, I I'm half joking, but shit. I want the opera. Okay, I'm half joking, but I want the opportunity to respond. I am. I am relatively joking. speaking. I'm half joking. I am relatively able bodied. So I, I am intelligent. Half. Okay, half, half pay that attention, was, please. That's fair. Yeah, half pay attention. That's fair. So I am mostly able bodied. I am relatively intelligent. I am working not in the top 1%, but I am making enough money to pay my bills while my wife stays at home, which is an extremely economically privileged position. I recognize that. That, position. I'm that, that is insane. Like, like in this economy, that's fucking crazy, right? I have two kids. They are both white hair or they are both white skinned, blue eyed, intelligent, funny, as far as I know, not autistic kids. So if a Christian theocrat seizes power and cuts taxes for the upper class and the middle class, people like me are going to survive no matter what. The people, the people who are not going to survive, the people, okay, I am a foot soldier of capitalism. I am a foot soldier of the bourgeoisie. I was a cop and a Marine. What the fuck? I am the people, I am the person who is going to squash you during the revolution. So stop talking to me about how I'm on your team. I'm not on your team. Okay. No, you, you, you think you're not because you've been conditioned into believing that there is a middle class. There is just a working class, and then there is the bourgeois elite that decide that 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 oh. lobby and write laws, push laws, and every and then also control the okay. media the that we bourgeois. consume and okay. tell us the bourgeois shit to give a fuck about and all that shit. The bourgeois pay me enough to not give a fuck about the plight of working class people. Okay. That is and what they fucking pay me enough. And then you, and then you are a yeah. jackass who's a traitor to the working class. That's, Thank you. That, and that's okay. We problem. finally, that's we you, finally got, to, we finally got you, to the result. That's something you. Uh -huh. That's something you need to need to like tussle with. I mean, if you sleep okay. at night saying, I would like to people, let, I would like to re rally in this conversation. Okay. All right. There's a lot of, a lot of back and forth here. Okay, so uh, something I wanted to say is um, I actually disagree with uh, Connor on the bit about uh, taxes and, and things like that. Infrastructure, it seems like very little people care about until they're like on the road or something and it's like a road doesn't work. But taxes seem pretty important, not like a prolonged conversation. But people care a lot about like being able to just get money in their hands, right? And like lowering taxes or so that way they don't have to pay as much in that shit. Like it's one of the number one things that you attack people on the presidential stage for. Like, like it was massively hurting Bernie Sanders on his campaign whenever they would bring up, how would you pay for uh, Medicare for all? How would you pay for the system? Well, I'd have to raise taxes, but ultimately you would spend less money was his response. But just simply the statement that he would raise taxes alone just like started destroying his fucking numbers, right? People hate this shit. They absolutely, they're horrified of it. So, um, you know, pe people do care about these uh these problems and um what eli was uh talking about with the um you know some of these uh, if, if the bourgeois are to to have their way and like stuff like that um maybe in the interim they might lower some middle class taxes and stuff like that but it's also in my opinion that like like long term it's not going to be like great i think the best system is going to be a push and pull system of the working class and the um the bourgeois right I, i'm a capitalist myself you, you we have to have pr strong worker representation along with um you know these uh very powerful companies um so so i think that there's personally there's there's got to be that little little something there but again all of this comes at the the fervent uh, um desire for democracy because eli through most of this conversation it feels like you actually fucking hate democracy you keep appealing to no, well we I got the numbers well, i just i just, I, also, I, just I just understand uh, that like a lot of this shit that i'm that i'm like forced to like look at online and shit is just a bunch of nothing burgers from people that are too dumb to realize that they've been programmed or in many cases not even too dumb. that's what democracy yeah. is you have to deal yeah. with dumb people well, <laughs> like, that's what let, let really but, finishes point. Wait, wait, uh, but also like democracy right like majority rule and if we've got the numbers and if we're the majority democracy we went out so you and know, then you're just saying the yeah yeah so you're uh, 
not only are you – see, this is the system that I really don't like about how we view democracy and how it seems like a lot of people on my – I'm curious about that. Like why, why, why are you why – are you, uh, you, 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 can, you, can, you can ask me about that later if you'd like uh, when I'm done talking. But the, the one system that I really don't like that we do when it comes to uh, democracy is we do th exactly that. We go, okay – it, let's assume even we have the majority. Let's assume like conservatives that have these opinions that we've been arguing about is only 30% of the voting power and shit like that. Like they have very, really the, they have, they have very little, you know, ability to actually make effective change. Just going, okay, fuck that 30%. We don't care about them. Literally just push them off to the side. Now that we have the power, let's close the system down. Let's make our shit happen. And so this is, if, in my opinion, fundamentally anti-democratic. The whole if point, we, if, if, and the if whole, my whole, them, excuse me, my whole them. love, excuse me, my whole love of democracy comes from the idea that we, as people, like that share even somewhat similar opinions, Eli, we were started as a very small group and we were allowed to democratically make our arguments and do stuff and bolster, okay, uh, yeah, a, bolster and, a, and a base and bolster a base, and now we're at a point where we have some power. We got some wiggle room. We yeah, got some things some we can shit. shake around. Right, yeah, and we can do some shit, but let's not break down the democratic structure just right, because well, we have a majority if of we people. Win, if, if we win, I mean, well, that's what democracy is. It's like people come together and everybody ex expresses their ideas and their points and whatnot, and then we, or to the best of our ability at the very least, and then we we see which ones that everybody agrees on, which and which ones everyone's don't. It seems like to me, and this is the problem that I run into with liberals all the time. Um, uh, 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 sorry, what uh, I, got, I got thrown off by somebody in my chat, but very good uh, segue, uh, CZ. Thank you. But um, like it seems to me, and this is what I hear from liberals and people who are center right or center left or whatnot, is y'all just want to coddle the losers and the people that are like, and and the people that like losers are already, dangerous. Like, Okay. They are. They're and very they're, dangerous. They're, they're dangerous. Well, what the fuck good are you, uh, uh, counterpoints as a cop? Stop the losers that are terrorists. Then actually do something with yeah. your power as a no, fucking. No cop. offense, but leftist revolutionaries are the people that I fucking hate the most. But you understand? Yeah, you hate them the most. Yeah, you hate them the most because uh, you hate us the most because we're not fucking capitalists. So we don't like the idea of of of, of slaving over for some rich man. And that... historically, in the Western world, communists are fucking losers. So I love kicking communist fucking ass. So, anyways, the, the, hold on, but th this is a real okay. point. Th okay, socialist. Do you want to go down that route? I mean, I know that it's decommodification of basic human needs and workers owning the means of production, and I heard a bunch of propaganda coming out of your mouth. So I'm assuming good, you're a socialist. You? Yeah, don't you think that that's a pretty good idea? Of like, I'm, of, I'm okay with, with no, I'm okay and... with subsidizing some of human needs. I'm not okay with decommodification and then workers owning the means of production. Right, I have no like, indication whatsoever that that's going to improve society in a way that think, I give a fuck about. Hold on, don't you think that if you have a society where you have people that control things like medicine and food and, uh -huh. and, and basic basic human needs that you don't get to decide on and they get to just sell that for profit. It's that not creating an unfair and unethical relationship of basically master and slave because you have to work in order to get the things that you very well need in order to survive. Is that not, how is that not in some way, shape or form like involuntary and essentially unethical slavery because the whole maintaining the whole way in which you maintain your system is the threat of death and starvation upon your poor people how is that a good thing okay we probably want to get yeah. back into gender or political structure yeah, but I, at the I same time no but honestly no if you want to if you want to have a conversation because about so hold on hold on because you know you're going to look like a really shitty person when you actually try to sit there and defend that shit no i will happily yeah. defend that shit we can do this next week you literally can. ginger yeah ginger set up a you whole can. fucking panel on socialism and decommodification of basic human need and workers owning sure, the means I'm of production we'll talk about fucking we'll talk I'm about the uh, the oppressive forces of nature that. the oppressive forces of capitalism we'll talk about all that shit but i don't want to bore my as a matter of fact i think that topic is actually pretty fucking base but i understand that people might not be down for that right now so anyways we'll do that fucking next week or, or fucking preferably on a friday or a saturday but anyways the, the point being that 
the the reason why we're talking about democracy and the reason why we care about the losers and the reason why I'm a Republican and not a Democrat is because I think that you set up rules that everybody can abide by for the most part, like freedom of speech, freedom of conscience, the right to self-defense, limited government, due process, all that kind of good shit. And as a result, you can perpetuate a society for potentially thousands of years without the mob absolutely destroying it. I fucking hate democracy. Democracy is the worst form of government except for all the fucking other ones. And so as a result, yeah, it's a it, toleration. It, it just, it just, it just uh -huh. makes sense that a white man who wanted to be a cop is saying this right now. Like, oh, I, I know the idea of equality. It's, it's almost just, like I, I have a privileged position I'm interested in defending. And it's and it, so you want to you want to keep up systems of inequality. Why am yeah, I talking? I want to I want to hire all the blacks. Why am I talking? I don't, huh? think, I don't think you're a valid. I don't think that's. I don't think you're a valid person for me to be wasting time talking to. Sure. If you if you want if you want to uphold systems of self preservation because you benefit from them at the expense of other people, like you're a horrible okay. person. In, okay. In because because I want to extend the privileges that I have to as many people as possible without destroying the system. Well, uh, well, no. That's the thing, though. If you want to extend those privileges, we have to bring about equality. And in order to do that, we can't use the tools of, of oppression to bring about equality. That's yes, not how you can. bring about equality, especially when you don't like. And that's for that's for another discussion. I was about anyway, to say. Let's, keep it, let's, let's keep it small. But like you, you can't just you can't just say, "Oh, I want to spread everything that I have." Like the system is built upon and is contingent upon, and it's 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 preservation is contingent upon inequality. So if you want to say I want to spread it, I want to spread equality without getting rid of the system, that's oxymoronic. You can't do that. Yeah, you're right because I don't think that every single person. The system. I don't think that every single person is fucking equal. I think that what happens is. Okay, give me an example. Okay, Ginger, will will you indulge me a rant? Uh, yeah, I'll give you uh, each five minutes. Okay, so uh, so th this is a totally different subject. It's a totally different night. We should come back to this. However. The way that I think that modern capitalism works is that there are a bunch of able-bodied people who are socially productive. They are economically productive as well. And so what happens is you harness those people through the desire to have luxury goods, but also through the desires and needs to have food, shelter, clothing, uh, social services, all that kind of stuff. You harness that productive energy and then you cut out the top factor through taxes. Then what you do is you take the top part that is taxes and you take care of people who are fundamentally unequal, old people who are dying, or children who need access to education, or children who need access to good quality nutrition or education. And as a result, you have a fundamentally unequal relationship. The people who are disabled, the old people and the young people, they do not have the, ca the capacity to be the same as the socially productive people. And so you tell the socially productive people that they will gain a benefit through their own social production, which is economic benefit, social clout, ego, access to pussy, access to ass, access to penis, whatever you're fucking into. And as a result, you motivate people with the carrot and stick of society in order to be productive. And this is the engine of capitalism and the engine of modern society. So as a result, if you say, hey, motherfucker, you can sit at home on dick all day and be a fucking YouTuber and we'll go ahead and provide you gray slop and you can live in a fucking building with shitty internet and all that kind of shit. Basically, all of the necessary social functions that we currently use necessity in order to motivate are going to fall apart. And instead of having a functioning society with food, titties, cocaine, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, fucking sexy things, uh, iPhones, all that kind of bullshit. You're going to have a bunch of mediocre motherfuckers sitting in fucking drab, gray, Soviet-style apartment blocks, jerking off and being fucking coomer degenerate pieces of shit, doing nothing productive for fucking society. And as a result, more people are going to starve. More people are going to have, like, less access to material well-being. And society is going to suck more. So fuck socialism. Fuck communism. Mixed economy capitalism is infinitely fucking better and has done more for fucking society than any utopian fucking bullshit that you could possibly fucking dream up. All right, Eli. Oh boy, where to start with that one? Um, so first off, I mean, I've had this, I've already had this conversation before. I went through a whole arc where I apparently pissed off a bunch of car bros by saying that supercars are kind of are, are kind of stupid and pointless. Um, and there's. And I have many, I have many reasons as to why I feel that way. I mean, I feel like capitalism tells us. I feel like, and I address this. 
uh, in my TikTok videos that I feel like capitalism guides us towards or steers us towards kind of like in a hamster wheel or like the um, the 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 horse with the carrot, right? It tells us that we that we that these luxury goods like Lamborghinis and big houses with more rooms than we know what to do with, that these things are good for us or that these things are things that we should want simply because they're things that like the rich bourgeois want. But the thing is, is that, and it, and it's, and it always baffles me when like conservatives say this type of stuff because conservatives will also be the first type of people who will say that, oh, well, you should like take, um, uh, you should take pride in being a housewife. You should take pride in being humble. You should take pride in being able to stay at home with your kids and all this other type of stuff. And there's a lot of people that want that, but because of the system that we live under that is fundamentally unequal and propagates and and feasts off of and sustains itself by that inequality, there's people that can't do that. And it's because of the fact, partially because of the fact that there are people who have been convinced by the rich ruling class, that they just work hard and they just keep going down the hamster wheel, and they just keep pedaling and they keep pulling the cart for the rich people and, and carrying them on, on their backs and whatnot, that they will eventually get to the same point that they're at. Little do these people who are just cogs in the machine know that they'll never get there. Why? Because the system, regardless of their race, regardless of, of, of their sex or whatnot, will always be rigged against them in some way, shape, or form by the fact that they spawned into an uh, into a less fortunate position than another motherfucker. Um, it, it, the system, in and of itself, uh, puts people. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I, I need I need to slow down for my for my ADHD sake. Um, like we 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 we. Uh, misunder we we underestimate the important the importance of like spawn point and we we put so much emphasis in this idea of like just being able to work hard and get further in life but the thing is is that that's not the case for everyone there are many people who are able bodied even and who work hard and who bust their ass who who go every day with their work unnoticed I was like that for the longest time and I know counter that you know that a part of that is because I'm black and i know that you know because you admitted that earlier basically without straight up saying that and i also I, i'm like it, it's it's boggling to me that you would spew such ableism like that when the entire crux of your argument is essentially would essentially boil down to capitalism is all i've known capitalism is all i've lived under and I've been fed a bunch of red scare propaganda about every other system that's not capitalism. So as a result, and me being the one of the white guys that the system has told and has convinced, like, you know, somebody's got to be on the bottom, but we're going to make sure it's not you. You, Counter, believe that this is a good system. But there's so many other people that are under you who, 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 who you have stepped on, whether you see it or not. That you have stepped on. And I understand that there are people that I have stepped on to get to where I am today as well. And I don't like that. I don't like the fact that there is a system that incentivizes that I fucking do that. I hate that shit. Right? So, and that's why I want to, to bring down and destroy the system of capitalism because it, it's not fair and it's not, I don't see it as ethical. I don't see it as something that, that, that's, that, 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 that's something that's like fair, equal. Or, or or ethical. And yeah, there's people that are going to be fundamentally born with inequalities. There's going to be people who are born with, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be born with only three limbs or even two limbs, maybe even, even no limbs. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't put things, uh, put things into motion in society that can equalize the playing field for people. I don't understand why white men are so scared of equality. I don't get it. I, I don't get it, because it benefits you, too. Okay. As a non-white man who supports capitalism, okay? Uh, an fucking traitor. I, 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 what, as a non-white... It's an oxymoron to be a non-white man who supports capitalism? I mean, we can get into that into another date, but I think anybody that doesn't have a deed to the fucking factory and isn't, like, a big business owner supporting capitalism is just a really dumb idea, because it's a... It's, okay, you could say it's a dumb capitalism. idea, and we can just disagree yeah, on that. But we're, like, we're, uh, remember, okay, we're yeah. letting we're letting Relly talk. Yeah, yeah. So, and, like and, anyway, and, yeah, anyway, the reason why um, I personally support it is for some of the same reasons that uh, uh, Connor was listening. I, I personally very much like the idea that if I want to take my surplus income, my surplus uh, labor, 
that I've built up and I want to be able to open up a shop or start a business. I like the idea of being able to be the sole proprietor of that business and that if I hire individuals, I don't have to pay them in dividends or uh, more specifically shares of my company. They don't have to become partners or stakeholders in order for me to hire these people. I want to be able to do it on my own and support it through my own labor. I like that idea. Therefore, I'm a capitalist. It's literally that simple. You cannot have that in an exclusively socialist system. I agree with a mixed system. I like the idea of very large businesses being able to potentially be co-ops. That's interesting to me. That's cool. And I also like the idea of, again, being able to start my own business, maybe with a couple of friends or something like that who have shared ideas and be able to hire people that I pay at fair wages that hopefully have very good representation on their side to be able to argue for their demands. And we come to the table and we face to face make those negotiations. I think we can also provide the less abled people because there are less abled people inside of our society who are not going to be as uh, able to uh, provide for themselves. We can provide uh, uh, money to those individuals, right? And I, and I think that can be legitimate. That can be fair. We do that through like disability and things like that. I like those systems. I love those systems. And we can perpetuate those systems and still have it be capitalism. 